Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson. Students, in our previous lesson, we discussed the roles of the industrial sector in the Ethiopian economy, with special emphasis on its output and its contribution to employment creation. Particularly, we discussed the contribution of various industrial groups within the manufacturing subsector to employment. In today's lesson, we will discuss the contribution of the industrial sector to foreign currency exchange earnings. We will start by defining what foreign currency exchange is and how it occurs when countries engage in foreign trade activities. Foreign currency exchange refers to the exchange of currency of one country with the currency of another country in the foreign exchange market. During international trade, the importing country has to pay the exporting country in terms of the currency of the exporting country. I hope you've understood the concept of foreign currency exchange. Let's now see the contribution of the manufacturing subsector to the foreign currency exchange earnings. In 2007 8, the highest foreign exchange earning was from textiles. Ethiopia earned close to 294 million burr by exporting textiles. Food and beverages earned close to 233 million burr. The leather and footwear industrial group earned approximately 77 million burr. Ethiopia also earned approximately 43 million burr from wood and furniture industrial group. The chemical, metals, non-chemical, and paper and printing industrial groups were the least contributors. In total, the manufacturing subsector earned close to 706 million burr in 2007-8. Students, in a moment, I'm going to show you a graph on the screen. The graph will show you the contribution, that is, the percentage share of each industrial group to total foreign exchange earnings of the manufacturing subsector. Here we go. As you can see from the graph, textiles alone generated about 41.5% of the total foreign exchange earnings of the manufacturing subsector. Textiles, food and beverages, and leather and footwear together contribute to a little more than 85% of the total foreign exchange earnings of the subsector. The remaining 15% comes from chemical, metals, non-chemical, and paper and printing industrial groups. Students, the agricultural sector earns about 90% of the country's foreign currency earnings, while the industrial sector earns below 10%. In this respect, I want you to do the first activity. Here is the activity. Which sector was envisaged to play the leading role in the economy in terms of output, employment, and foreign currency earnings in the long term according to Adley.
students, did you answer the question? Very good. Now let me give you the answer so that you can compare it with yours. In Adley, it is the agricultural sector that initially plays the leading role. In the long term, however, the industrial sector is envisaged to take the leading role in the economy in terms of output, employment, and foreign currency earnings. In line with Adley, the recent Growth and Transformation Plan GTP, of Ethiopia has given a great emphasis to industrial development in general and manufacturing development in particular. It is stated that one of the development objectives for the industrial sector is to create a strong foundation for the sector so that it starts to play a leading role and the national economy in terms of output, employment, and foreign exchange earnings and savings. Students, in the GTP, the government planned to focus on the following eight subsectors. The textile and garment industry. The leather and leather products industry. Sugar and sugar related industries. Cement industry. Metal and engineering industry. Chemical industry. Pharmaceuticals industry. and the agro-processing industry. Students, the government has set a target to raise the foreign exchange earnings for all these subsectors. The table I'm about to show you in a moment depicts the targets for some of the industrial groups. The government has planned to raise foreign exchange earnings by 1 billion US dollars from the textile and garment industry. 496.5 million from leather and leather products industry. 661.7 million from sugar and sugar related industry. 20 million from the pharmaceuticals industry and 300 million from agro-processing industry. The GTP does not provide exact target figures of foreign exchange earnings from the cement, chemical, and metal industries. Well, students, another point that you should keep in mind when thinking of foreign exchange earnings from the industry is the issue of collaboration with developed world to gain preferential treatment. In this regard, the Africa Growth and Opportunity Act, AGOA, allows some developing countries such as Ethiopia to have access to the United States of America textile market without tariffs and quota. Europeans are also opening their markets to African countries' manufactured products, such as Ethiopia's sugar. So far in our discussion, we have explained that the industry sector brings low foreign exchange to Ethiopian economy. Could you now think of the problems behind this? Well, with the students sitting next to you, discuss why the industrial sector could not contribute much to foreign exchange earnings.
Have you discussed the problems? Great! I am sure you've mentioned problems that include lack of finance, lack of competitiveness in the international market, lack of modern technology, lack of skilled human capital, and so on. Students, you will be discussing these issues in one of the next episodes of the chapter. Let's now do the second exercise. Now, individually, list the three top subsectors of the industry that are planned to have higher foreign exchange earnings in the coming five years. Great. Now, have you listed the subsectors of the industry that are planned to bring higher foreign exchange earnings in the near future? Well, here is the list according to the degree of expected contributions. The first subsector of the industry that is planned to bring higher foreign exchange earnings is the textile and garment industry followed by the sugar and leather industry. Students, before we wind up today's lesson, let me summarize the main points. In today's lesson, we have discussed the meaning of foreign currency exchange. We learned that foreign currency exchange refers to the exchange of currency 
of one country with the currency of another country in the foreign exchange market. We also learned about the contribution of Ethiopia's industries to foreign exchange earnings. We said the contribution of Ethiopia's industries to foreign exchange earnings is very small. Finally, we discussed the planned foreign exchange earning for the country from some industrial groups. Well, with this, we come to the end of today's lesson. In the next non-plasma lesson, you will learn about the industrial development strategies during the imperial period. Next time, I'll come with another program. Until then, goodbye teacher, goodbye students. Thank you.